Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and I'm back with another Steam Deck gameplay video. Uh, this one is, is uh, not a demo, it's the full game and it's called Star Crawlers. Uh, I've, I've had this in my library for a while. Uh, again, I'm just going through my library, uh, uh, going through all the unknowns, trying to see what plays and what doesn't. And let's see, so uh, it says it's unknown by Valve. This is from uh, May of 2017, so it's been out for quite a long time. Uh, Juggernaut Games, and let's see, if I, re if I remember this might have had mixed reviews, but uh, again, you know, you have to take reviews with a grain of salt. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. Uh, it's very positive, so 84% of 711 all-time reviews, so yeah, decent amount of reviews. It's very positive, so um, you know that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. So again, so uh, let's see. Uh, unknown, it is Star Crawlers. I tested this out last night, and it seems to play. Um, it seems to play okay on the Steam Deck. Um, let me just remember. I'm trying to remember if it has some of those small text issues like a lot of games do um, that seems to be a recurring issue with some of these games uh, unsurprising I mean it's a small screen all right let's see okay so there is an in-game mouse okay so there is a background background uh, track so star crawlers um, continue new game options quit uh, and when you hover over it, it, these things actually do tell you what they do, which is which is interesting uh, for something you know as obvious as those. But that's kind of cool. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. So uh, let's go to options. Uh, okay, so again, using the uh, in-game mouse pointer with the um, trackpad or the uh, joystick and the right trigger to select, we've got graphics. Uh, you can change your resolution. Uh, full screen shadows, fog, uh, anastropic, uh, UI scale. Ooh, UI scaling. Hmm. Let's raise that. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, interesting. So, hmm. Let's see. I don't want to make it so big that I can't see it on the screen, but uh, yeah, that that we'll we'll see what that does. Uh, UI scaling, uh, beautify, V-sync, anti-aliasing, bloom, cap FPS. Uh, and again, when you hover over these, it, it gives you information. Uh, enable uh, enable to cap max frame rates per second to 60. Disable for uncapped max FPS. Um, looks like FOV, probably field of view, I would suspect. Uh, gamma. Okay, so we'll go back. Controls. Uh, so free look sensitivity. Enable permanent free lock. Enable camera smoothing. Uh, invert mouse Y. Fast combat animation. Sticky combat feeling. Uh, bind keys. So uh, again, this they it, it shows you the keys that you might want to use, and therefore it would be easy to uh, check to see if they're already configured uh, for the the default you know um, uh, configuration, whatever's being selected for this game, um, and then to re to reconfigure them. So uh, move forward, back, turn left and right is WSAD. So that should probably be fine with these. I'm thinking. Uh, there is a strafe option, strafe left, strafe right, strafe right. So that's like sidestepping. Looks like Q and E. Uh, weight, character menu, center camera, inventory, ability menu, info, uh, open map, flashlight, and free look right mouse button. So those might not all be natively mapped uh, or configured. So might refer back to that. Uh, reset to default, save changes. So there is no back button. So you just, I guess, save changes. Uh, audio. Uh, music, ambient, effect, and uh, UI volume. Save and exit, you know, of a choice. Uh, Toby eye tracking. So I'm not turning that on. I don't think it would work on the Steam Deck anyway. Uh, but I uh, haven't seen too many games that have that. Holiday. Um, so basically, it looks like make the holiday lunar, lunar year, make the holiday ha ha Halloween, winter, clear holiday, clear the act of holiday. I don't know what that does. So you know what? I'm just going to click Halloween. Uh, oh, I see. It changes. The, oh, that's cool. Lunar New Year, Halloween. So it's in the game. Winter, and then clear holiday. Ha! Huh, you know what? We're going to go with Halloween. That's kind of cool uh, since it's almost Halloween. Uh, if your key bindings are not working, try resetting player preference. Uh, so reset preference. Uh, let's just go back and see what happens. So I'm not going to continue my game because um, 
Uh, I already started last night just to test it. We're going to do a new game. Uh, so autosave, quick save, overwrite, uh, an autosave or quick save file was detected. If you proceed to load or start a new game, it's data. That's fine. I'll proceed. Don't care. Um, that's interesting. So, hmm. Uh, okay, so... Uh, okay, I don't know if there's music. Okay, uh, here we are, boss. Terminus 9, hub of the sector. Maybe it's nicer inside than it looks from out here. Uh, and then your response. Guess we'll find out together. Let's talk. Uh, where does the bartender runs the wire here? He's the one you should talk to about getting some jobs. Plenty of creds to be made if we get on his good side. Time for a drink then. So that's the bartender. Uh, okay, so now you uh, get your choice of uh, character. So, um, let's see. You So, it's level one cyber ninja. And I uh, can't get rid of that. That's weird. Oh, you know why? Because I changed the UI. That's why. Interesting. So, I hover over this cyber ninja. It tells me about the cyber ninja. Uh, and then the engineer and because of the way I made the UI and then we have force striker fight force physiker hacker smuggler soldier and void uh, physiker and let's see so we're just gonna go with cyber ninja the default one uh, you can select male or female okay so there's female there's male okay so you can do that and then um, basically tells you a little bit about them tells you their weapon skills their armor skills and their sheets shield skills um, in th you can view their abilities so uh, cyber ninjas add combo points to targets and then consume them to deal bonus damage add status effects or boost item defense so it looks like you've got combination uh, assassination deception and um, so I guess in each one you could choose, let's, actually let's find out, let's go to engineer and see what their abilities are. Yeah, so constructor, rigor, and bolty. So you'd have to, you know, in theory if you were going to play through this, you'd want to take a look and see which one appeals to you as far as that goes. Um, you can change their name through a dice roll. So it just randomly changes their, their name. I uh, don't know if you can change, yeah, it looks like you can change it. You know what, let's find out. Hmm... Yeah, I think it's going to. And I can actually see what I'm typing because it's up at the top. That's cool. So you can actually change it too. All right, so I change it to zombie. Um, okay, and then uh, difficulty. So you have a difficulty slider, and then you have Iron Man mode. So limit of one Iron Man save uh, that uh, auto updates. Death is permanent. Gear is lost forever. Auto save updates when the character dies. Not for the faint of heart. Uh, and then, oh yeah, you get to create a backstory. So this is interesting. Um, I don't have it. I can't go back and change the UI right now, but that's that's okay. So let's see, create backstory. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And and I didn't read through these, but I just took note of it. Uh, so it starts off with your childhood, and you get to select a childhood: Outlander, Clan uh, Tau, Clan Magetta, or whatever. And it says, for instance, gain street code, unlock special event options, gain formal education, unlock special event options, gain fringe culture, unlock special event options. So, um, you know, I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't really care. So, uh, yeah, let's say let's let's be raised in the slums. Why not? Uh, and then you get to proceed or go back, and then you get to do adulthood. So you a Chimera Soldier, uh, a Jiyin Biotech Soldier, Galaxy Mart Greeter. And so, for instance, uh, one plus five reputation with Chimera, plus five accuracy, uh, plus three percent damage, uh, plus five uh, reputation with Jiyin, plus five percent critical, plus five percent dodge, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's kind of cool. So you get to choose your adulthood. And then you get to choose now. So ascendant, failure, Ronin, and it you know tells you what that means. And for instance, this one: gain a rare weapon plus 100 credits, gain rare accessory, uh, gain rare accessory plus 25 credits. So um, you know that that's that's kind of cool. 
Uh, let's see. Let's just pick uh, Ronan. Why not? And then proceed. Oh, and then you have history. Oh, my goodness. You have even more choice. So Outlander. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is your summary. So Outlander, uh, uh, GN, Biotech Soldier, Ronan tells you what the summary is, accept and begin, or you can go back. Uh, let's see. So then it kicks it off. The moon rises and I appear. Uh, stranger pulls a sm small shiny object from the folds of his robes and flits it towards Zombie with a devious grin. Zombie calmly reaches out to grab the incoming projectile. Snatch it out of the air, smack the object away, dodge the object, take no action. Um, that's interesting because this is a because I chose differently. I have a different start, or maybe it's just random start, regardless. But uh, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, what, let's snatch it out of the air and see what happens. Zombie definitely snatches the spinning object out of the air. It is a red candy with uh ha. -huh. So my UI is too big to read everything. So I'm gonna have to try to fix that. Uh, with I'm assuming a skull printed on the wrapper. Baron von Om Ominous, a fine catch for a mere mortal. Allow me to, to introduce myself. I am Baron von Ominous. Uh, yes, well, the annual how. Oh, maybe it's because I changed the Halloween. The annual hallow hallowed moon has risen and called me from my eternal slumber. This seems. Uh, this feels oddly familiar. Baron von who? Uh, let's do that. Uh, what? I have no idea why that might be. I've come to strike terror into the hearts of mortals until my lust for skull candy is sated. Okay. All right. So this must have been like a Halloween special. Skull candy? That's right. Delicious skull candy. You can find it all over the sector at this time of year. People, people fiend for its nougat filling. <laughs> okay. I love nougat. I'm more of a chocolate fan. I prefer caramel. Nougat? Vile. Uh, you know what? Let's go. I love nougat. Uh, it has other flavors too, but you're not supposed to eat the something. You're supposed to bring it, them to me. Maybe I lost my shipment and I need to find some before a big party I'm supposed to cater. Wait, what? What? I said bring me skull candy, mortal, and be rewarded with festive prizes or be destroyed utterly. Well, all right. Great, I'll be brooding around here for a while, but don't take too long or I'll depart to, to my dark castle. I'm going now. Uh, wait, there's one last thing. He glances around surreptitiously. I may have in my possession a ticket that will get you onto an exclusive party ship that happens to be in the area, and I may be willing to trade it for skull con candy. Sound good? An exclusive party? I'll keep an eye out for the skull candy. Okay, so there was that. Now, uh, I have action points to set, spend, but do I... Can I... What's this? Overview, loadout, abilities, deck, code, and back. So that's my person. Uh, I want to try, hmm, let's click up here. Okay, options, yes, let's change the UI. So graphics, UI scaling, so we're gonna, yeah, woo, very sensitive. Wow, you know what, maybe I can just click here instead. That makes it bigger. Whoa, that makes it really big. Wow, that, that wasn't nice. Uh, let's go right about. Let's go right about there and see what happens. Okay. All right. I want to return. Uh, options: say auto save and quit, exit the screen, or resume game down here. Okay. So yeah, it's, uh, changing the UI does have a little bit of an effect on things. So let's see. Uh, AP. You have unspent action points. So I have three ability points, um, and I can just ch uh, cho choose different things. I am going to just go ahead and uh, click one of each. So this is now, combination is one of three, assassination is one of three, deception is one of three. I don't know if that's a good choice or not, but I don't care. Uh, let's see, my overview tells me my weapon, my armor, my shield, my accessory, uh, statistics, average damage, attack speed, accuracy, critical chance, dodge, armor block, uh, shield absorption, crit resistance, XP boost, and then resistances, so damage, energy, fire, chem, uh, nanite, void, fear, status effects, none. Uh, don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like I have one skull candy because I got it from that guy. My health, 330. Shields, experience, uh, zero. Uh, edit. What can I do with edit? Uh, oh, hmm, interesting. So custom images. Place custom images in PGN format in your images folder so you can change your uh, image apparently. You can edit your name, 
uh, combat, enter the file name here, event, hmm, interesting. So you can change your custom images. So you can have a, you have a combat image, you have an event image, and a character image. So you could actually upload your own images. That's, that, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, loadout, I don't know what that is. So backpack, maybe that's your inventory. Uh, abilities, so those are the ones I just assigned my points to, and now they're up here. Uh, deck, so deck hard drive, uh, offset, offense utility, defense utility, masking utility, booster utility. So I, I have no idea what all these things are. I would definitely have to read them. Uh, programs, okay, wow. Uh, deck, again, is deck hard drive. Log and codex. Uh, okay, this looks like, it's probably like a journal of some sort, but uh, let's see, UFP, Universal Foundation for Prosperity, Anarchists, Other, Dossiers, uh, Codex, so Home, Basic Weapon Shield, let's see what weapon says. Your equipped weapon, so this is basically like a help file, so that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, so get out of there, uh, and then back. So, all right, so we've looked around there. Escape uh, must be to go somewhere. Now, there's, it's, it's pointing here in the game to tell me to go to the um, Doc Sam Saloon. Uh, hover over here, wire terminal. Uh, this is a hack shop. And looks like that's about it for now. So I'm going to go over to Doc's Saloon here. Uh, let's see. So he's going to talk to me, and then because of my background or whatever I picked, I have a street knowledge option when I'm talking uh, versus a couple other options. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know if I remember. I read through this before, but um, I think he's going to try to get me to do something. Uh, yeah, da -da -da. okay. All right, so... Um, Tab as long as uh, put the job on the board for you, so as uh, so as you can see how that works. Check the job board for work. Open your stash. Hire new crawlers. Exit the saloon. So check the job board. Open contracts. The ghost ship requires requires ghost ship ticket. Uh, target ghost ship before you learn to crawl. So that's the guy I was just talking to. Target sticks basement level four. Uh, it tells me what my asset acquisition is going to be. Uh, hire new crawlers. Can I hire people? Um, I have a bank account of 25, so that's my bank account. Hire an engineer for <laughs> 150. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can hire anybody. No, 150, 150, 150, 150. Yeah, so I guess it's just me. <laughs> it's just me and my little ultimate. Uh, open stash. So don't have anything in my stash. Stash one, stash two, stash three, back. Uh, okay, um, exit the saloon. I don't know where I'm supposed to go because uh, I wasn't listening. Hacker shop. Uh, I probably should have paid attention. So, dock saloons. Baron von Ominous. That's the hack shop. Um, you know what? Let's go to. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the wire terminal. So, select a contract from the left to view their details and place a call. So, Chimera. So I'm right. I'm right clicking the right mouse and uh, the the right trigger, and then using the trackpad to go down. Um, hmm. I, I forgot what I was supposed to do, or I wasn't paying attention. So, let's go to uh, log and codex. What am I supposed to do? Um. Nope, that's that's those people. Uh, let's see. I guess I should have paid attention. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. Let's go back to Doc Guy. Uh, as soon as packed with, uh, check the job board. So uh, learn to crawl. So employer Doc. Oh, maybe I didn't take. Uh, maybe I didn't accept this. Okay, so sticks basement, job type asset acquisition, danger normal, suggested level one. Uh, he wants me to head down to the sticks basement and look for a replacement part to fix his wire terminal. Once the wire's active, he may be able to find you some paying work. Reward looks like uh, your bank, XP. Yes, let's accept that. 
Uh, team selected. It's me. Just me. <laughs> All right. Launch mission. Back or launch mission. Let's launch mission. Uh, okay. Cause I just want to get in here. Herding cows. Engendering morals. Loading space crates. Engendering holocroms. Bolstering spl splines. Insinuating morale. Instantate whatever. Reticulating witty rejoinders. <laughs> shaping victory. Loading space crates, I see. So that's all little stuff that was appearing in the bottom. All right, movement. Use WASDs to move and turn. Strafe with Q and E. Activate your flashlight with the F key. So I am going to need the F key. Customize hotkeys with the escape menu options controls. Actually, I can just uh, do it the other way. So we're going to check uh, WASD. We're going to check Q and E. And we're going to look for the F key. So here's my little mini map. Uh, before you learn to crawl. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, whoa, uh, that opened my, um, hmm, that opened my inventory, uh, that opened my inventory, <laughs> so, oh, uh, that was curious, so to the left, I stepped left, to the right, I stepped right, uh, to the front, back, okay, um, all right, now, Yep, so the left and right trigger, so the left L1 and the R1 is set up to uh, turn and look. All right, okay. Uh, F button is, I don't remember, the F key, oh, interesting. Uh, P key weight, P key weight, F is flashlight. So Y is flashlight, B and X are the P key for waiting. A is the space key. That, that's odd. I wonder why they have two P key weights. That's interesting. Um, but your flashlight is the F key. Okay. And then, uh, all right, so your D-pad, the up is L key, abilities. Uh, left is I for inventory. Down is map. C is character. Okay, so that's how they have that mapped out. So back in the game, if I go I, that's my that's my abilities, and then I click it again, it's gone. That's my inventory, click it again, it's gone. That's my character, click it again, it's gone. That's my map, click it again, it's gone. Okay, well that that's that's cool. Y is flashlight. Turn that off. Uh, a and uh, X and B were weight, and then A is uh, is the space. So uh, let's see. So. Um, I will pr I will probably have to reconfigure this quite honestly because uh, this is awkward for me. Um, I would rather have I would rather have the uh, I think I would rather have the L L L and R uh, ones to be strafing sidestepping rather than uh, the left and right to be that. So anyway, we'll we'll take a little look see here. Interact. How many objects are inter? Many objects are interactive. Look at the object and click when the object is in range. Okay. All right. So it turned into a little icon. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click that with the right trigger. Somebody has securely locked the door. You'll need to find a manual override if you want to get it open by searching the room for an obvious switch. Okay. Um, That's weird because uh, I would think that was an obvious switch, but uh, can't get in front of it. Oh, here's something. Okay, there we go. So, Shinoleum shin lunchbox. Uh, you could uh, you could auction this item at the black market. Valuable valuables can be found exploring. Search for secret caches. Okay, I don't know how. Looted linoleum lunchbox. Um, okay.
Hmm, interesting. That's curious. Um, that was weird. I didn't see an indicator to do that. So, secret discovered. Very interesting. Okay, that's a locked door. Hmm. Okay, that was not what I thought it was. Okay. Oh, there we go. It opened that up. All right. Okay. Hidden stash. Hmm. There's no look up and look down. Hmm. Don't know how to. Uh, I'm clicking on it, but it's not doing anything. Okay, there's my target. That's interesting. So, okay, so let's do that. Okay, now I see. Oh, look at that. Okay, interesting. So, um, let's see. So, my backpack, my have, I have my lunchbox, uh, small med kit. Okay, so we're going to, it has a take all option, which is cool. So, we're going to take that. And so the way I looked down was I, I click the left trigger and then used my mouse to, to be able to look around. So that's cool. Um, so the left trigger is making it so I can do that. Uh, okay, so now go over here. And if I go over here, ha, ah, so now I can turn at an angle. Aha. Uh -huh interesting obvious switch okay was it so obvious though was it really uh, okay so now <laughs> that's interesting so I have to turn hmm so I, it doesn't like the fact that I'm turned so I'm gonna turn myself to be I think the direction I'm supposed to be and now it turns ah, that's very interesting okay very, very, very interesting. All right, don't see anything this way. Okay, I really would like to find some combat. Um, so that was very, that was really curious. So if you turn yourself sideways and leave yourself there, you can't move anymore. So you've got to make sure you go back to the to the. Um, the way you're supposed to be facing. Okay, as the door grinds open, a small hooded figure darts through and past you towards the exit door. It pauses and cautiously, cautiously turns to study you. It appears to be a small child, probably a, st a station urchin. Underneath the tatters of a filthy cloak, you see the glint of something shiny. Uh, street knowledge. Carefully display a hand gesture indicating peace. Leave the urchin alone. Under the uh, Order the urchin to hold still. Call out that you mean no harm. So again, you, based on what you chose in your character creation, it looks like you have different um, dialogue options, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to do my street knowledge. Uh, the urchin cocks its head to the side and calmly returns the gesture. Kneeling quickly, it places a glittering object from the folds of its cloak onto the floor before vanishing in the shadows. So, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so I'm going to walk over here. Okay, there we go. And we're going to Tiny Chromium Music Box. Uh, you could auction this item, okay, so we're going to take it. All right, there we go. Turn around. Okay, and then it moves. Okay, uh, I would really like to... What was that? Stubborn Door. Uh, wonder if it's over there. Wonder if it, yeah, I think it. I think it is over there. So we're gonna move over there. Okay. Uh, can't move that way. Ability points. Each class has abilities that will aid the team both in combat and in exploring. When you gain a level, you will also gain one ability point. 
assign ability points in the character menu abilities. I think I already did that. Uh, okay, stubborn door. This door isn't locked, but stubbornly refuses to open. Using your unique talents, you should be able to convince it to open. If you haven't already, or if you haven't already, open the character menu to assign ability points, which I did, I think. Uh, combination: uh, scan the door and strike where it's weakest. Assassination: snap, kick the door open. Kia. Uh, deception: drive your plasma blade into the heart of the door. <laughs> hmm, interesting. So I picked three different abilities, so I have three different options. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, snap kick it. Why not? Ah, no. Let's scan. Let's uh, combination. Hey, look at I opened it. Look at me being all like uh, special. Uh, okay. All right. I would kind of. Oh, I'd kind of like to uh, find combat here, but uh, oh, item. You have a new. Oh, yeah. I have a new inventory item because I'm playing. Look at me. Okay. What's this? You found a data jack. These terminals connect the real world to the virtual one of the local wire network. Jacking into the network gives you access to traps, security doors, and more. Uh, you know what? Jack in. Why not? I don't know what I'm doing. You've entered the port mode, which is linked to the jack data jack in the real world. Nodes are usually defended, but this one isn't. Bonus, there is a hidden data store on this nodes that can be looted. Sure, loot the data store. Why not? Uh, what is this? Unlo unlocked bunker, uncommon defense ability. Uh, okay. And then ignite 1.1 uh, installer. I install ignite 1.1 in your deck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take all. Um, okay, exit this node. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't got a clue. Uh, network core, level three. That's me. Deck core, jack out, deck. What's deck? Okay, that's me. Okay. Right click to install. Right click to equip. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's. Um, oops. So I left clicked. I, I used the left trigger and that installed. Um, I'm going to click that too. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I went ahead and did it. Uh, okay, let's, I guess, jack out. I don't, I don't know. Um, okay, nothing there. Okay, can't go forward there. Don't have any clue. Beams of deadly laser energy are projected in front of you, barring your path. Traps won't usually block movement, but touching them stings a little. Look for a way to disable those beams. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Who scared me for a minute? I was like, "Holy crap!" I sidestepped. Yeah, I gotta learn. I gotta get used to these controls. Uh, I don't see anything there. Could be something in the other room, too. Oh, what's that? Uh, look at that cred stick. Oh, five credits. Hmm. Alright, well. Okay, that just tells me I have to look careful, more carefully at things, because I have uh, didn't even see that there. Hmm. Whoops! Oh, that's right. Whoops, that's right. I gotta, man. I gotta get, I get used to these controls. Uh, 
I don't know if there's actually things that you can click on. I don't know if it shows you everything that you automatically can click on or not. So I don't know, that's different. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's that? Oh, look at that. Interesting. Uh, the hell is, whoops. The hell is that? Something's moving. Curious. Um, hmm. I don't know. I would think I'm supposed to do something with that, but I don't see how. see how to do that hmm that looks like the same same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I've already been to the data jack. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be in the data jack. give this a try before I quit because I really do want to I really would like to see combat it is turn-based but um, but uh, you entered the port node so there's nothing else so uh, what's this hacking combat you've entered hacking combat with the enemy on your turn click and hold on the enemy to see the program wheel Re release over a program to run it uh, Sud Z is a corruption type enemy and will take bonus damage from your security program. Hmm, interesting. So, what am I doing? Uh, okay. Jolt, 100, 100 times units. Options, access the inventory, end turn, and free options. Uh, hot swap. Swap any program that is not on cooldown for one in your library. I'm just going to click that, I guess. Okay. Hardening points. Sudzi has damaged the core of your deck with an attack on your hardening points. If the HP on your deck is reduced to zero, your deck will crash out of the network and you'll be unable to hack until your deck is repaired. Look for utilities that boost HP to keep keep you hacking. Okay, uh, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, he's got 115. If I click there again, uh, how much damage am I doing to him? No, that's like five damage. That's nothing. Okay. Damage the code hiding the identity of your deck with the attack on your masking points. If the MP of your deck is reduced to zero, You'll be identified by the network and disconnected MP resets to full at the end of the mission. Look for utilities that boost MP. Okay. Am, am, I, am I supposed to just keep attacking? Hot swap. Swap any program that is not on cooldown. Uh, what do I got? I got Jolt, Program, Security, Corruption, Ignite. Deal three corruption damage to all targets for each configuration uh, con corruption debuff they have. Security, that's the only thing I have. 
from what I can tell, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if this is part of the tutorial or not. Okay, fatal exception in mono at Please wait three three thousand seven hundred eighty-five cycles to recompile. Okay. Oh, is he almost dead? I don't know. I'm having a hard time understanding uh, what's going on. Okay. Not quite sure what I did, but you entered the network core, which is linked to all security systems in the real world. Crash the core to take down those laser beams. Attempt to crash the core and disable the network. Network core access granted. Admin level privileges detected. Reminder, do not attempt unsafe operations on core. Manually crash the system core. <laughs> uh, unsafe operation. <laughs> no ref. Blah, blah, blah. System shutting down. Okay. Uh, hmm? Well, we're, we're going to assume that we're going to assume that it did what I needed it to do. Yep, it did. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, uh, I have to get used to looking around. So, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Good combat. Because I really want to end this because this video is long already. Uh, you've entered combat mode with the enemy. Uh, the turn order of combat is shown uh, on the timeline above. The active character is in, is in the top left. On your turn, click and hold on a target to see the ability wheel. Release over an ability to activate. Okay, that's like it was before. Abilities have different time unit costs to activate. Fast abilities cost fewer time units. Slow abilities cost more time units but hit harder. The time unit arrow shows where you will move in the timeline if the ability is used. Okay. All right, so there's the bad guy. Uh, oh, that's Sudzy. Uh, 31. Okay, I've got 330. Okay. So I'm going to click on him, and then I see what I get to choose. So this is strike, 140 time units, 85% accuracy, 8% critical, 13 to 15 damage. Add two combo points when target is damaged. Uh, combo strike. So again, that's 9 to 10. So this is 13 to 15. That's 9 to 10. This is co co whatever that is, 150 units, requires combo points. Vanish, 75. Gain stealth for one turn to boost damage to your next attack and add one combo point. Options. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's go with, let's go with just the plain old strike. See what happens. Did 14 to him. Sudzy uses polished. Uh, you've been you just you've just been hit with a status effect. Both positive and negative status effects are displayed on a character's battle icon at the top of the screen. Click on the battle icon for the details. Try it out now. Uh, okay. So sparkles thoroughly scrubbed by Sudzy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's a little creepy. Um, let's see. So you know, let's let's try uh, let's try vanish. Let's try vanish. See what happens. Okay, so I vanished. Ooh, ninja. -y. Okay, now let's click on him again. And now let's click on uh, let's click on combo strike. Sure, why not? Oh, I missed. Well, that kind of suck. Oh no, I've been polished again. Stop polishing me. Hit him for 14. Now he polishes me again. Zombie looks less grubby. <laughs> I guess there's, I guess there's no real danger here. Uh, so I'm in cooldown. Uh, oh, I can do this because I have whatever. Let's just do it. Why not? Okay, boom. I smack Sudzy. XP 50. Uh, click to continue. Victory. Okay, and there I am. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there, folks. Um, I do think that let's see a quick save and exit save game exit the title so let's say quick save and exit uh, is it no nope, saving is locked so exit the title screen is not exit game so I'm gonna exit game yes I know I want to exit game yes I'll 
you know, immediately quit. My progress won't be saved. Yes, I know. That's okay because I wasn't playing. A, I wasn't starting a real game anyway. Uh, I was just trying to see how it plays. So okay, that's Star Crawlers. Uh, and again, it does look like it plays on the Steam Deck. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go put this right up here. This is my uh, nice little Steam Deck uh, stock, Steam Dock there. So uh, I, I just dug that out, and I've been experimenting with it. So Star Crawlers, it does look like it plays on the Steam Deck. Um, it, uh, it 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 does look like maybe some of the controls. I might want to uh, play around with to see to see the right configuration because right now the the turning is a little awkward. Uh, it's defaulted to sidestep, and since I use the D-pad to move around a lot in other games, um, having the D-pad set up for things like the character inventory, the abilities inventory, the map, uh, that might get a little weird. So uh, so yeah, most it looks like the keys. Most of the things you need are are set up. Um, but they're not they may not be set up the most convenient way to play that so but you could easily uh, change that so that that wouldn't be too hard um, in a lot of my videos I show how to easily reconfigure the um, the controller so hi there my doggy one of my little doggies uh, so anyway uh, I hope I hope that's helpful folks uh, star crawlers it does look like it might be uh, it looks like it's gonna be a fun little game uh, I definitely have to <laughs> dig deeper in it to figure out what's going on uh, and pay closer attention. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm glad you found my channel. If these videos are, are helpful, um, you know, please like, subscribe, uh, get notifications, leave comments, uh, and you know, I, I try to respond to all the comments. And uh, this is my, one of my dogs is saying hello. Um, and so I'll try to get some more videos up. Um, this weekend, but uh, you know, in the meantime, you know, happy gaming. I'm glad you found me. I hope these are helpful for people, and uh, you know, I'll I'll see everybody later at another video. Thank you very much. Bye.